you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Open Team video, guys. And today, let me go over what you should be doing in Madden right now. You guys have been commenting on a lot of my videos that you guys wanted an updated one. I know you guys really like that one because it really gets. I, I kind of like. I know it's kind of the state and the obvious. So anyone who knows, don't don't kill me in the comments. But I know a lot of people like to be like structured and how they should be going about things. What's like the order of importance? So obviously, I'm gonna be going over what you should be doing right now in an order. Specifically, what's the most important things to be doing and how you should be handling things, and I'll also be doing an updated what to be doing with your coins right after that. And hopefully, I think there's content today, so I should have that's three videos for the day. Hopefully, those come out in you know in a specific order, such as content this one and the coin one. So guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below and smack the sub button. Greatly appreciated if you would. Also, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. And also, comment down below if I miss anything in this video. I always like feedback on my videos just in case I miss something. You know, it helps me out as a content creator. And also, let's get this video to 200 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated, guys. Now, let's get into the video. So, first things first, what you should be doing in Madden right now. So, there's multiple things. Obviously, there's house rules of the superstars, theme diamonds, new legends. Now, this is assuming that you've done most of the other things. So, quickly, if you haven't already, NFL Epics and Journey should be done already for you guys. Those should be done. Second, Series Progression and Mutt Dedication. There's two things that I like to focus on a lot real quickly before I get into the newer stuff. Series Progression. If you guys haven't already, you should be grinding out either your Mutt level or your Series 1 multiplayer wins. Because the Series 1 multiplayer wins, you get a lot of trophies. If you finish all of them, you get probably a grand total, I'd say close to probably 800 to 1,000 trophies, which is a, either a Von Miller 91 or a John Madden coach, which is very important this year, every, since last year. You need a John Madden coach. That helps you so much. If you don't know what John Madden coach is, he's the coach that gets you the chems on him, that gives you boosts your whole team. Very huge advantage. And if you can get that and Von Miller, which I actually just got the Von Miller, very useful. I'm going for John Madden right now. Now, if you haven't done that yet or you haven't done your mutt level, I recommend you go do those first. Mutt level is the first thing you should be doing. You should already be level 50. That is the first thing you should be doing because getting to level 50 gets you close to a million coins. In quick sells, packs, platinum cards, coins, coin quick sells. You get so many things from this. The uh, the 87 to 88 overall level of pass, the 86 to, uh, 85 to 86s, the legend full, full legend pack at level 50, I believe it is. So all those alone are a great thing to be doing. Those are kind of the, the quickest ways to be getting coins and the quickest way to be progressing your team at the moment. Next is Mutt Dedication. I think we're at that point now that you guys have done all that, so you should be focusing on Mutt Master. A free 95 overall Pat Tillman is very useful. So the 100 wins with an 85 overall plus obviously depends on your team. These are kind of the easiest ones to get. These get done real quickly. This one gets done after 25 days, so you guys should be closer than I am. I actually missed a few days because I forgot to open my pack. I, I was dumb. Now the yards, the way you get these done in my opinion is the best way for this week is playing House Rules. So House Rules is a thing you definitely want to be doing, but that ends today. So I'm going to give you guys an updated one as in tomorrow they should be dropping a new house rule. So make sure when that house rules comes out, you take advantage of it. This one was very uh, objective oriented. You know, you started in uh, college overtime. So that made it very easy to score a lot of touchdowns. So I took advantage of that this week to play tons of them to get all the um, touchdowns and look at my rushing touchdowns, my passing. Got a lot of them done. So that definitely helped me a lot with stats. Now that was huge for that. Now we don't know what tomorrow is going to be. So obviously when that comes out, I'll go over and tell you guys how that can help you guys with mud mass and other things. But you definitely want to be getting these done. Sacks and stuff, especially fumbles. Fumbles you can get from solos easily. You play on easy. You just have to hit stick them. You force a ton of fun. It's almost an instant fumble if you force a hit stick on uh, easy difficulty. So that's kind of what I like to worry about right now. Mutt Master, get my Pat Tillman. Even if you don't max them out to 95, you could still get your Pat Tillman to like a 90 and 88. And he's still a very useful safety because realistically, there's not many better safeties than an, an, an 89 overall safety, such as Ken Houston. It's not like the best one in the game right now. So even if you get him to like an 85 to an 88, He's still a very useful safety. You can throw him at free safety, which is definitely better than Earl Thomas. He can hit. He's fast. He's tall. He can catch. Very useful card. Now, assuming you've done all that, and I don't say do Mutt Master first. I mean, keep in mind Mutt Master. You know, be, 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 know your objectives so that you can kind of focus on those in solo challenges. Next is the Mutt Superstars. If you guys haven't already, please go do these. Simple, simple way to get free cards. Right now, Mutt, Mutt Superstars are here. You got to get 145 stars, which is simple. You just play the solos. On at least, I'd, I recommend hard and doing all the bonus challenges, such as, as you guys can see here. Let's see which one I haven't done. I've done most of them. If you click into it, there's the bonus challenge on the right for extra stars. There's the coins, and there's the difficulty. I recommend playing them on the highest, because it gets it done quicker. But if you're not that good at the game, you could just do it on like an easy or medium, and get as many as you can. But I think you have to play at least, you have to get at least three stars per. 
because if you don't get at least three to four stars per you're not gonna have a good chance because you have they don't give you that many just yet and the daily superstars definitely help with that in case you didn't do that though now second assuming you get that you get a free 89 to 90 month superstar from that side as a free player for your team next the theme diamonds the, no yeah the theme diamond solo challenges are useful in the sense that if you wanted to do them i don't really do them because of what they're about you know theme diamonds look at what you get you get a nat gold a nat gold a nat gold a nat core elite a nat 84 plus a nat gold and a nat gold if you guys don't know nat golds can pull you elites i have my 88 or 89 deandre hopkins powered up right now because of or should i say is he an 88 i believe he, i don't know what he is but he's an 88 or an 89 and i got that out of a nat gold pack so i have pulled elites i pulled another one i pulled i think brandon williams the left end these not gold packs are very useful the three times you can easily get like a Khalil Mack, a Von Miller, uh, Aaron Rodgers, you know, like obviously maybe you won't use them, but they're still free golds. They're still free elites. They're still free training and the not golds can put into the sets. Now here you get a not elite. So that does give you a guaranteed elite and then you get a not 84 plus. You can easily get like a Khalil Mack, Von, Aaron Donald, DeAndre Hopkins, Bobby Wagner. So that alone right there could be two staples on your team, especially if you're no money spent. So I'd recommend you get these done right now. These are just, these just came out. I'm on the, I'm, I'm working on them right now. Now that house rules is over, that I was I was grinding out house rules. Very simple. This is the take on offense, which means you're on defense, and the take on defense, which means you're playing them on offense. So very simple. This is assuming journey's already been done for you guys, I'd imagine. So if you count that all up, that's a free 88 to 89, the free 86s, the free 84 plus, plus the free elites, plus the gold nats. There's so many free things in this game right now. So just for that alone, that's definitely what I'd recommend doing first. Even if you're not, even if you're money spent, you have a bunch of packs, I still recommend doing them. I do them and I'm money spent. Definitely very useful. I've gotten a ton of cards on my team that are very useful. Like I said, DeAndre Hopkins is one of them. I got the uh, Superstar Nat Demarcus Lawrence. Very useful. If they drop a second one, I'd be very, very happy because I could definitely take another guy. I have free Stefan Gilmore from House Rules. So remember, House Rules does give you a free player. So I stay, I stay tuned for tomorrow for whatever the House Rules is because it's definitely going to be very, very useful. House Rules is definitely a great one. This week, it was 50 wins for a free player, but it was overtime rules. So 50 wins is really like 10 probably full games to 15 full games. It wasn't horrible. I ended up playing about 100 of them for the free trophies. But right now, just a checklist for you guys. You guys want to be worrying about trophies, free cards, Mob Master. Those are the three things that you want to do right now. Because we're like kind of like in a, I'd say like in limbo right now, Madden. Like there's no weekend league. There's no solo battles. House rules just ended. We're like in that weird point where there's really nothing to do at this exact moment. So that is why I'd be playing my solos, get those out of the way. That's what I do. When there's nothing out online to play competitively, I get my solos done because I have nothing else to do. When I when there's online stuff, I'd rather do that. So when there's nothing to do, I get my solos done. I've been playing my solos. I'd highly recommend you do them. And now, with this week coming back, there should be solo battles, weekend league, and house rules. So I'd recommend getting house rules done as fast as you can so you can get onto your solo battles. And then by Thursday, you can start getting back on weekend league. Weekend league's definitely a big one. I know if you, even if you guys aren't that good, you still get decent rewards just for winning a few games. So if you play all 25, win a few. I mean, if you know you're going to play 25 games and only win like three, maybe it's not worth it. Just play solo battles. But if you know you can win like seven to eight, you still get pretty decent rewards especially trophies packs and players and coins so it's definitely worth it in my opinion and overall that's, that's pretty much it as far as the solos so like i said just stay, stay tuned for this this week when you have solo battles and head-to-head -head, um weekend league i definitely wait for those and then we have so and then we have house rules obviously so as a and, and there's a grand total if you want to come to sets there's nothing new really looking here that you guys should be doing right now i mean they're the theme builders but i'm not really a fan of the uh, theme diamonds in my personal opinion now as far as legends I know you guys were talking about Steve Young and stuff. My personal opinion is to wait as far as just wait right now. Wait on a lot of players. I feel like there's going to be some bangers dropping soon as far as Legends. So I haven't really invested too much. I have some players that I can still sell. I want to start building my coin stack, which I'll go over in the what to do with your coins right now video. But guys, as a whole, Mutt Master, House Rules, and your level. If you have all that done, your solo challenges. That's what that's, that's kind of the order I would do it in. And if you want to, if you want to do it in order of importance... The second house rules drop, that's the first thing you should be doing. Because that's timed. You have you don't have as much time. I mean, they give us six days this time. I don't think it'll be six days again. Because that was because Weekend League was canceled. But house rules is first. And then do your solo challenges in your free time. I recommend playing those like late at night or early in the day when you're doing nothing. And then if you're going to play Weekend League or solo battles, you can make that choice yourself. It obviously depends on what kind of style you like to play and if you're competitive or not. I guess that's about it. I hope this guy's give you some like structure on what I pretty much look at for myself, my own team at this point in the year. Especially right now until they start dropping more things and the season starts. But guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to smack the sub button for me. Greatly would appreciate it. Go down below, turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And guys, comment down below if I missed anything you think I should be doing right now also. 
Now let's get this video to 200 likes, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.